Okay. Um, good morning. Uh, my name is Dr. Robert Rutledge, and if you're watching this video, uh, you probably are a physician and taking care of one of my patients. Uh, I'd like to uh, tell you that you're welcome to call me at any time and email me, or also visit our website for more information. Um, the mini gastric bypass is a variation of the Roux and Y gastric bypass, but has some significant differences that make it easier to perform, safer initially, and safer over the long term, plus it's revisable and reversible. And in addition, it's much more durable. It's a more powerful surgery and has more successful long-term maintenance of weight loss. So for all these reasons, we like the mini gastric bypass. And if you're a physician taking care of a patient of mine, I'd like to give you a little bit of background with the invitation to learn more about it by calling me at any time, uh, visiting our website, www.clos.net, um, or emailing myself or any of our staff. Uh, I think initially you might be interested in a description of the mini gastric bypass. Basically it has two components. It has a restrictive component that decreases the ability and the interest in eating by cutting a new long narrow stomach pouch out of the inside edge, the lesser curvature of the stomach. And this is roughly the size of a magic marker or a cigar type size. In addition, we bypass some of the small bowel and the idea there is the small bowel is designed to digest and absorb fat, calories, food, things like that. And in our patient's case, it's doing that job too well. So what we do then, based on the patient's initial weight, is bypass a tailored amount of bowel to try and get ideal weight loss. Overall, on average, our patients range in age of a mean of 39 years most 85 percent are female um, the average weight on the day of surgery is around 300 pounds although we do much lighter and much heavier patients and the average weight loss at one year for a 300 pound 39 year old woman is around 140 to 160 pounds so it's a pretty massive weight loss we do have patients that lose too much and get too thin and we have patients that lose too little and don't lose enough and the nice thing about the surgery is it's easily revisable Again, the technique is to cut a new, long, narrow stomach out of the inside edge and then attach that in an end to side, the end of the stomach to the side of the bowel connection, somewhere between 3 and 10 feet downstream, with the average bypass for a 300-pound person being around 6 or 7 feet now. And now, as a physician, you might be wondering, what do I have to do? And one of the nice things about the mini gastric bypass for the majority of our patients is it's pretty low maintenance. Uh, basically, the patient has surgery. We see the patient back at seven days post-op for their one-week clinic follow-up, and routinely we'll take their staples out, and there's no other uh, interventions at that time. And then we recommend follow-up at one month, three months, six months, one year, and then yearly. During the first year, unless there are symptoms of other problems or complications, we don't think other therapies are necessary. And so if that's the case, um, we don't think you have to draw blood, we don't think you need blood tests uh, or any other invasive tests. So we're encouraging you then to see the patient, talk with them. If you identify symptoms, then directed interventions and testing may be appropriate, and you can always call me for the more details on that. And we'll talk in some of the other videos about the risks long term. So for our patients, we would prefer that they come back to clinic, but we do take care of people from all around the world, so some of our post-op follow-up comes through their local physicians. Uh, most of our patients do extremely well. They can eat a normal, broad range of foods. And uh, in some of the subsequent videos, we'll go into the details about the surgery, some of the risks, the long-term complications, and how to manage them and how to get in touch with us.